Hey guys, thank you for joining this quick admissions uh, tutorial. Uh, the whole application process to Northern Arabian University takes 10 to 15 minutes at most. And let's get started with it. The first step will be uh, accessing our main page, our main NAU page. You can do it by just simply searching for North American University on Google Engine. This is the first result that comes up. Click on it and this is NAU's main page. From here, you can choose apply now or go to the admissions tab and choose apply now. From here, it doesn't matter. Both of them will take you to the same exact page. Or there will be a shortcut, just writing apply apply.edu on the search engine, and uh, it will take you to this page. From here, choose apply or sign in. So I'll choose apply. And here we are. Uh, this is the first page you guys will see. Uh, this step requires you guys to create an account with North American University. Please make sure to write your real name and your real last name. Uh, otherwise, when we get to the application, you won't be able to change it later on. It also asks you for your email address. Use the one that you check all the time because you will be getting uh, a lot of admissions emails from North American University. So I uh, actually did all the steps and I have an account with any of you. Uh, and I will just go to sign in and put my information up here. Um, if you chose sign in from there and you would like to create an account first, then just click sign up. But if you have one, go ahead and sign in with it. Okay, so I'm on this one. Um, okay, so this happens as well. So let me try again. All right, so now we're here on the application page. Click start a new application. And here we are. Um, the first question that, is, that comes up here says, what describes you the best? So you'll have 10 options to choose from. And this little note up here will help you guys to choose the correct one. Please make sure to choose the correct option that describes you the best. Um, uh, that way we can know what type of student you are and if you, and if you choose an incorrect one, then later on it will be a little bit harder to change it, okay? So make sure to read each and every of them. The first one is undergraduate bachelor's degree as U.S. resident. So if you're in a high school or you've graduated from a U.S. high school and you are a U.S. resident, choose number one. Um, if you're an international student, if you're a foreign national, you're in high school uh, or a college and you would like to start your bachelor's degree at NAU, please choose number two. Number three, master's degree in business administration or computer science. Anyone who would like to apply for master's uh, in business or computer science, please choose number three. Number four, master's degree in education. Number five will be non-degree seeking undergraduate and bachelor's courses. If you would like to take one or two courses from NAU um, bachelor level courses, please choose number five. Uh, number six is dual credit high school or admissions for the students who are currently studying in U.S. high schools. If you're studying in U.S. high school and you would like to register for a dual credit, please choose number six. Number seven, non-degree seeking graduate master courses uh, for up to 15 credits in business administration or computer science. Uh, it's the same thing if you would like to take some master level courses from NAU and you are not seeking degree from us, please choose number seven. Uh, number eight is the same thing, but for education programs. And number nine is for ELS students. For all English language school uh, applicants, please choose number nine. Number 10 will be for alternative certification programs. Okay, so and here's a little note. Change of status students who are changing their visa from JB to F1 to, to a student visa, please consider yourself as an international student and choose number two right here. Okay, so uh, I will go with this application as an international student just because it has 
uh, a lot more questions and a lot more uh, steps to complete than the others, but it also covers uh, everything that um, any other student in the world come across during the application process, okay? So what is for FC best? I will choose and say that I am a non-US resident international student who is currently attending or graduating from high school or college. And I would like to also mention that um, to be a US resident, you guys, uh, you guys need to have either a US citizenship or hold a green card or be on an asylum. Okay, so I'm choosing number two. What type of degree are you seeking? I'm seeking Bachelor of Science. And it just gives me this option because I already chose number one. Um, what program do you want to pursue? So I'll just go over the first one, Business, uh, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Finance Concentration. What is your residency status? I'll say I'm a non-resident Lion, international student. What is your level of education? Uh, here, guys, you need to choose your latest uh, educational level. So I'll say uh, I'm a freshman. I don't have any transfer credits, but now if I have already studied somewhere, some type of college, and I do have college credits that I would like to transfer, then I will choose number two. Uh, here I'll choose number one. Term, I'm applying for 2021-2022 fall. Uh, which starts on August 25th, 2021. Okay, so let's start the application. It takes a little while to, to upload it, just bear with me. All right, here we are. So as I've already mentioned, guys, um, whichever name you put when you or when you when you were registering, it will be it will be just here it will come up right there. Okay, so just make sure to put your real name, your uh, real full name. Um, on the left side here, you guys see this little dot. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven dots. So the, there are seven steps in the application process. If you see this uh, yellow color, it means that you have not finished the first part yet and it turns to green whenever you're done completing that step, okay? At any time, uh, if you would like to review your application, you can just click on this button up here, okay? Social security number, all international students, please type 999-99-9999. Uh, please don't leave this part blank, because uh, otherwise it, it will count it as a mistake um, in your application. But for all other students, for our US resident students, please make sure to put your social security number just because we will go, uh, we will use your social security number to check your FAFSA application for all type of government loans, grants, and uh, institutional scholarship that all requires your uh, SSN number. Please make sure to put it. And if later on you guys uh, will need a 1098 tax form from any of you, it will also ask for your social security number. So it's best to put your social security number. Uh, don't forget uh, the dashes. If you're an international student, uh, just type, this would be 99-99. Okay. Date of birth. So just put your date of birth. Um, yeah, I'll be 2002. My email is here already. Choose your gender. I'll choose female. Okay. So here's this one. If you would like to change your date of birth, then just go ahead and click on this one. Uh, I will just click on it again. Okay. It will ask for marital status. Choose whichever option applies to you. Your mobile phone number. Home phone number, if you don't have one, just put on applicable. Uh, choose your citizenship. If you're a citizen of the United States, please choose the USA. 
if you are a citizen of a foreign country, please choose your uh, country. So um, I'll choose the Dominican Republic. International student type, if you're this is your first time applying to a US school, uh, choose first time applying as one international student. If you're changing your status from J visa, H visa, B visa, please choose change of status. If you're uh, a J1 exchange visitor student, choose J1. If you're out of status and you require reinstatement, choose out of status reinstatement. If you're transferred from US institution, choose this one and if you're an international student who will take uh, classes online from any of you choose international online okay guys so here for all of our U u.s residents you guys will not see these questions i'm just going through it for our international students okay so i'll just click first time applying f1 visa type f1 if you're an exchange j1 do you have dependents? Yes, please check, check the box. Uh, if you're coming to US with your spouse, with your kids, choose I have dependents. When you click this box later on, you will see an, uh, an option where you have to put the information as well, okay? So if you don't have dependents, you don't have to check this. So I will leave it like that. Are you Hispanic? If yes, please check the box. Uh, the next question, do you plan to live in any of your campus housing? If yes, choose yes, no, not decided. I'll just choose yes. How did you hear about us? Uh, there are different options. I will just click the first one. We will text you. Yes. And continue. All right. So you guys see this that is green. It means that we've completed the first step successfully. Let's go to the second one. Please list all the schools that you have attended for undergraduate, high school, or associate's degree if you have in or college, college, any college courses that you took for graduate students, your bachelor's transcript. It's mandatory. And any additional master's or doctorate transcript that you have. So please make sure to list all of the institutions uh, that you have attended, all the degrees that you have, okay? So uh, I'm a high school student. I chose I chose my high school student. So search for your school. Yeah, I'll just put this one. Um, and if you don't have your school in this list, you can choose unknown school degree, high school degree. If you have GED, choose GED. Uh, associates, bachelor's, master's. So this is the first one. Uh, so I'm adding my high school my high school degree right now if i have uh if i would have a ged or associate's degree i will add them later on i will show you how to do it um let's do high school gpa just put your gpa we wish everyone a 40 gpa so let's go with that please select the scale 40 from 40 if you have a different gpa scale choose that please Zero. Did you graduate? If yes, please check the box. Yes, I did. And your graduation year, 2020, 2021. Okay, so here we are. This is my high school uh, enrollment history. If I attended any other college and earned an associate's degree, then I will just add an additional enrollment, enrollment history has the same questions if you have more degrees keep going and adding your degrees okay so uh, it's the same thing like i showed you before and i will just remove it for now from here and okay and i'm continuing to the next part do you plan to transfer college credits to north, north american university if it is a yes, choose a yes. If it is a no, choose no. I will just choose no. Or let's choose yes and see uh, what happens. Are you taking or have you taken AP courses while in high school? If you did, please choose yes. And are you taking or have you taken dual credits? If it is a yes, then choose a yes. Uh, and if you guys choose yes, then you would have to provide your transcript, your scores, your official AP scores, or your 
dual, dual credit transcripts so that we could consider transferring them for you guys. Okay, so let's hit continue. That's for your current address. Uh, your current address um, is the one that you are residing right now. So if you're in the United States, put your United States address. If you are living in a foreign country right now, please put your foreign country address. So I chose uh, the Dominican Republic. And we'll just put our, our institution's address. 99, we'll say for Boulevard. And it's asking, is your permanent address the same as current? If you guys um, are from the foreign country, and if you're residing in a, in a foreign country, then please, please put your permanent address, your foreign country's permanent address. Your current address, if your current address is staying with your permanent address, that's perfect. Then just click this box, it will disappear. If it is not, if, you're, if you are like on, on a different type of visa here in the US and you, you're residing there, um, fill out your current address and your permanent address in your, in your foreign country, okay? So let's choose we are not. Let's choose this. Okay. So it takes us to emergency contact. Uh, put whichever you guys want, whatever you guys want, their phone number, HBQ their email address. Country, uh, I'll just how to say the Dominican Republic. Okay, here we are. Put your emergency contact through the dress. And click continue. Takes us to the next level. So parent contact information. If you're applying for a graduate degree, uh, you will not have this uh, this part. It's for all of our freshman students. So put their first name or their last name, their phone number. Okay, their email information. I'm just putting the same one over and over, guys. You don't have to put the same one. Please put their first names and their contact information. Oops, I have a little error here. I haven't completed my parent information and it's still yellow. So let me go ahead and complete it first. Same mother. I'll just make our public. Okay, so now it is done. Click continue. And this is the last one. Are you in contact with any youth coaches? If you're an athlete, if you if you heard about any youth from your coach, please click this one and answer to the questions. Uh, my sport team is if you're playing baseball, football, men's basketball, cross country, soccer, track field, basketball, cross country, track and field. For women, please choose uh, anyone that's applicable to you. Let's choose baseball. And please put your coach's name and click the application. That's it, guys. It took us, I don't know, five, six, seven minutes, right? So just make sure to review everything. And if you made any mistakes, you can edit them from here. You see? Uh, and if you guys made any mistake during the application, don't worry about it. Uh, just contact your admissions representative and let them know where the mistake was. And uh, they will try, they, they will help you to edit it, okay? 
Jane, uh, where's my date of birth? Yes, my enrollment history. This is my application. Uh, this is my current address. This is my emergency contact. Here in contact. And I need sports information. Okay, so here it is, guys. Uh, let's submit our application. Yes. I'm verifying it and submitting. Okay, and then it comes to application fee. Uh, choose however you want to pay, guys. And Here's your portal, paid however you want to do it. So, and I would like to say that this application fee is for international students only, our US residents, they don't have to pay it. Okay, so that's it guys. Let's just check our application again and see where we're standing right now. All right. I will log in. Oops. Okay, guys, so here is your dashboard. Undergraduate international students, right? Um, you can click your pay your application fee, or you can upload the required documents. So this is your checklist. You need to submit your transcript, your passport, your test requirements not received, your English proficiency requirements are not received as well. Okay. Okay. So when you click that, it explains you guys what you have to do, what you have to submit. Okay. Please go ahead and submit your transcript evaluation, uh, your test requirements, your passport, your English proficiency requirements, everything that needs to be submitted for all of the students will be in this dashboard, guys. You will see it and you will have a time uh, to submit everything. Each time you submit, you will see a green, uh, green dot here instead of the red one. So that's it for the application process. Good luck, everyone. Uh, please take your time. Uh, to review everything before submitting uh, and make sure uh, your official documents are ready. Thank you.